All right, how do you get approved quick for business financing? That's exactly what I'm gonna decode right now. Look, when you usually need money for your business, you usually need it like right now. So how do you get the quickest access to business funding? There's some prep work that you're gonna to wanna to do to make this happen. And you gotta be looking for the right kind of financing you can get quickly. I'm gonna break it all down for you right now in this training. You're gonna leave this training knowing the fastest way to secure business loans, credit cards, and credit lines. We got a lot to cover, so let's dive in. All right, so look, if you need money for your business, you're probably going to need it fairly quickly. So when this happens, you have to be prepared to get the financing. And how well you are prepared is going to determine how fast you're able to get loans. Look, I can get loans for our business within 24 hours. I can get an SBA loan, the hardest loan to get, in three weeks or less. You can do exactly the same thing. Here's how to do it. Step one, you've got to make sure that your business looks credible. More than half of all denials take place because your business isn't credible or the lender thinks the application is fraud. So you have to set up your business and structure everything the right way so when it comes time to apply for credit and financing, you don't have to worry about this. Have a separate address for your business, separate phone number for your business, professional website for your business, a professional email address for your business, have a business license, a business bank account. Most importantly, make sure all of your online information is congruent, especially your secretary of state record. You have to make sure that what you're putting on your application matches with your secretary of state. And I can tell you over 90% of entrepreneurs I talk to and we look at this, they don't have this right. They actually set up their secretary of state and then they made changes and never updated secretary of state. Then the lender goes and validates their application against secretary of state and the application gets denied because the information doesn't match. We oftentimes fix this one thing and one thing only and see people go from denial to approval and it happens all the time. So make sure your information is congruent. The information on top of your bank statement should be matched what's on the application. Your secretary of state information should match the application. Everything should match. Now, if you've done this correctly, then you also want to make sure you address your consumer and commercial credit reports. Pull your business credit reports. Do you have something established? Do you have something negative that you didn't even know about? Do a review of your consumer credit report. Is there something there that you don't even know about? Is there anything there you can do to actually improve those scores and reports before you apply? Apply. Regular monitoring of your consumer and commercial credit reports is really, really, really important because you want to make sure that they are ready to go when it comes time for you applying for credit and financing. If not, you want to make sure you're disputing consumer credit, building business credit before you actually need it. So the minute it comes time for you needing financing, your consumer and your commercial credit reports are ready to go. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of lending out there that doesn't even really care about your consumer credit reports like asset based lending. But all the other lending that does, this is going to have you get the best approvals, the best terms, and the fastest approvals just by having your consumer and commercial credit in check. Next, you want to prepare any documents you may need for the loan. Now look, SBA loans are the most complicated, so I'll leave them for last. But a lot of the other loans you're going to apply for are based on a strength. So if you're going to apply for a loan and get money fast, like revenue financing, which you can get in 24 hours, all they're going to care about is your revenue. So all they're going to ask for is your bank statements. So you should have three to six months worth of bank statements ready to go. You should make sure that those bank statements reflect that you responsibly manage the bank account. Do you have non-sufficient funds? Do you have a positive ending bank balance at the end of the month? Are you overdrawing the account? Your bank account should reflect that you're managing your bank account responsibly. And if you've done that, well then great. You want to make sure that you have those bank statements ready to go to apply. Now, other kind of financing like term loans, they may actually want to see tax returns as well. So I always keep a folder on my desktop with the most three recent years of personal tax returns, of business tax returns as well. I make sure that I have an up-to-date profit and loss statement for the quarter in there. Every quarter I get a profit and loss statement, I just put it in there. Hey, a P&L is good for you to have anyways. So why not have something that's good for me to have in running my business and also saved in a folder where it's ready to go. I have a P&L done for the end of each year, it's there. I do a balance sheet every quarter. I do a balance sheet at the end of every year, it's put in there, don't get me wrong. You don't need P&Ls, you don't need balance sheets when you're applying for merchant cash advances or revenue lending financing. A lot of financing, you don't need this. But the point is, 
every document that you really should get to run your business anyways, have set aside in a folder. Your incorporation papers, your secretary of state records, okay, proof of your EIN number, have all that in a folder on your desktop. These are all the things lenders are gonna typically ask for. I even have a copy of my driver's license, which is in that folder. And of course I have that folder locked down where it's password protected, where nobody can access it because it has all this privileged information. But look, this is basic stuff that lenders are gonna ask for. And by having it all there ready to go, then you are ready to apply. The last thing is if you're applying for like an asset based lending program, something based on your account receivables, for example, as the asset, well then have an aged AR report ready to go. They're going to ask for proof of that asset. If I'm doing a loan based on my 401k, well then I want to have a recent 401k statement in there. So again, based on the type of financing you're actually going to apply for in the very last minute, you might get an aged AR report, or you may get a 401k statement, but the rest of this documentation you can have ready to go. So when it comes time to apply, all you have to do is get it out of the folder, send it securely to the lender, and you can get the application started. And by the way, in two decades of lending, when people ask me how long it takes to get financing, my answer is always the same. You are the one that determines that pace. How quickly you respond to the lender is what determines how fast this loan is actually going to get closed. It's not the lender that will be the delay. You will be the delay. So keep that in mind. You doing this prep work is essential to you actually getting the lender what they need quickly. And that is the key to getting fast funded. Next, you have to choose the right kind of financing for your business. And in order to do this, you have to know what your strength is. There's three main strengths you want to focus on. Your cash flow. Do you have consistent cash flow in your business for six months or more? And are you managing your bank account responsibly? If so, you probably want to look at a revenue lending or merchant cash advance type of financing product, a product that's based on you having consistent revenue. The next thing, the second C. Credit. Do you have good consumer credit quality or business credit quality? If you have good business or consumer credit, you probably want to apply with good consumer credit for a program called Credit Line Hybrid that's just looking at your consumer credit quality. If you have good business credit, you want to use it to go start getting high limit business credit cards that's based on your business credit history. So again, is that your strength or do you have some kind of asset that can be served up as collateral? That's the third C. Cash flow, credit, collateral. Do you have stocks, bonds, 401ks, account receivables, purchase orders? Do you have equipment, inventory, real estate, vehicles? Whatever the asset is you have, you could typically borrow against that to get financing. And again, the lender's just gonna wanna validate that asset. So whatever proof you have of that is what the lender's typically gonna wanna see. So now you know, do you have cash flow, credit or collateral as a strength? If you have multiple of those as a strength, you might be able to get term loans or SBA loans, which are gonna require a lot more documentation. They're gonna require those P&Ls and those balance sheets that we talked about. They're gonna require the personal and the business tax returns. So if you followed these steps already, you're even prepared to apply for an SBA loan. The next step is you want to find an actual lender. Once you know the kind of financing that you're actually looking for, it's easy to use Google or even better yet, just go through a broker, a super broker like Credit Suite to actually help you find the right lender. As a matter of fact, if you're working with a super broker like Credit Suite, then you don't even need to figure out what kind of loan program you're going to get. We can help you determine all the loan and credit line products that you're able to qualify for right now, even find the right lender. But if you are doing this on your own, you're gonna wanna do some research. And you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash credit suite for detailed instructions on how to vet lenders to find the right lender for your business. But you wanna look, which are the most reputable lenders in that space for that product? Look at their actual reputation. Do a name of the bank scam search to see are people have, uh, victims of scam with this lender? Do they have good positive reviews? Do they have local engagement and posts on their social media pages? All these kind of things can help you find the right reputable lender for that type of loan or credit line product. Next, it's time to apply. And when you apply, you're going to be given an application and every single line item on that application needs to be complete. If it asks for a fax number, get a fax number. If you don't have a website, get a website before you apply. No item on that application should be left blank. And again, every time you fill out a line item on that application, think about, does that make you look credible? If it asks me for an address and I'm putting my home address, is that really what makes me look the most credible? Probably not. I probably want a business address. If it asks for a phone number, I'm using my mobile phone, do 
I really want to use my mobile phone? Does that make me look credible? Make sure that every line item that you're filling in makes you look credible. And if not, then get what you need to do updated so it actually looks legit. If you don't have a business phone, get a business phone. That way you can actually make sure that you're filling in that with credible information that reflects on your business. And again, every line item that is asked on an application needs to be completed. Plus, the lender's gonna tell you what documentation they need, get 100% of it to them. Okay, by submitting a complete application, that is the key to fast funding. Having a complete application with anything they're asking you for. If they want proof of your EIN, if they want your corporation papers, if they want your driver's license, supply all of that in one packet. By supplying a complete loan packet, they're more inclined to look at your information first and give you a quick initial approval. But if they're missing information and the more information they're missing, the less they actually prioritize that file and the longer it takes you to get that approval. So the key here is a complete application and submitting all the supporting documentation you need so the lender can make a fast underwriting decision. And finally, be prepared for questions and answers and be prepared for more documentation. Lenders are going to look through this and they're going to inevitably have more questions that they're going to want to ask you, or they're going to ask for more documentation to support or provide evidence of things that they want proven. So you need to be ready to supply that. Don't argue with them. Please don't argue with them. Don't argue with your loan broker. Don't tell everybody, wow, 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 I don't want to get this. Listen, that's just going to waste time. I often say to borrowers, look, there's two ways you can go about this. You can argue about it and still supply what's needed or just supply what's needed. The difference is, is if you argue about it, then supply it, you're just wasting time. In the end, the lender wants it. You're still going to need to provide it. Okay, I've learned this as frustrating as it may be when they keep coming back to you with more and more and more requests, just get them what they need quickly. The more you can get them what they need quickly, the faster it's going to go. If you wait a day, two days, three days, a week to get them what they're asking for, then an underwriter has to pick up the file again, go through it, refresh their memory of where you left off just to get caught up to speed. And in that process by itself, they may think of even more things they want from you. So the fastest and easiest and best thing you could do is that when they need something from you, get it for them quickly. That's the key to getting the loan closed. In the end, you've got them everything they need, they've given you the approval, and now you can close the deal. Look, believe it or not, this can happen in a very short period of time if you've done that prep work. You can get funding with places like Revenue Lending or Merchant Cash Advances in less than 24 hours. I can't tell you how many times we've got somebody payroll the next day because that was when payroll was due. They're literally finding out at three o'clock today that they can't meet payroll and tomorrow they've got money in their bank account. It could be that fast. But you can't operate that quick if you don't do that prep work, if you don't have these things prepared before you get into that application process. So there you have it. Those are the exact detailed steps of how to get the fastest funding for your business. If we can help you along the way, let us know. At Credit Suite, we help you improve your fundability so you don't get denied and you get more approvals. We give you tips and tactics and help you through the process of building your business credit using our fundability software. And we help you with all aspects of lending. We're gathering the documents. We're finding the lender. We're finding the right loan program. We're helping you through every step of this process to get the fastest and easiest money for your business. So let us know if we can help you along the way. And by the way, don't forget to grab our free guide on 27 killer ways to get financing for your business. You can grab it at creditsuite.com forward slash 27. That's creditsuite.com forward slash the number two, the number seven. Hey, did you get value from this training? If so, make sure you like and subscribe and keep your eye out for our next training. We talk about more cool ways to get the money you need to start and grow your business.